I think we, we recognise, uh, and we, I've been saying this to the clubs that I've been visiting, that there is a gap between the clubs that have significant net football revenue and the clubs that don't. And that what's that? What that's translating into is that they have the ability and capacity to spend more in their football department, which obviously over time gives them an edge. Andrew. So our challenge is to try and get more funds in the hands of clubs that need it so they can reinvest in their football department and give them an opportunity to compete. Well, it's certainly not a bailout at all. It's, a, it's an equalisation tool. And the best thing we can do for the competition, and as I've said to the players and clubs, is to give every club the best opportunity to compete and win. I mean, clubs exist to win premierships. That's exactly why players play. And we need to arm them with the capacity to be able to compete. I think it's one of the great overreactions I've seen in a long time. It must be a slow news week that blowouts... Uh, I almost cried at the beginning of On the Couch the other night for the first five minutes. I was actually thinking of shutting up shop. Um, I just think they're uh, a very rare occurrence. We always knew that the Gold Coast would have a couple of uh, largest results, but I think there's underlying reasons for each result that's happened, particularly when you consider the might of Collingwood, who are a fantastic team in Geelong. We're seeing two very, very fine football teams at the moment. But I think that's cyclical. I don't think it's a... I don't think it's some problem that we, we, requires a crisis meeting and hysteria, but I'll let others be the judge of that. Well, people must have forgotten they were playing Collingwood. Um, Port Adelaide football team is not a very, very good football team, judging by where it is on the ladder. They've got a lot of young kids. They're playing the best team in the competition, maybe one of the best teams I've seen in a long time. And in fact, I think their average winning margin this year is 60 points. Um, and they've got a percentage, six all-time high percentage. So you know, people can bang on all they like about tanking and not trying. Um, I think the reality is that Collingwood's a very good football team who played a bunch of kids who were learning and the result wasn't that big a surprise. No, I don't, and I wish people would stop talking their football down. I mean, I think we should we all be revelling in the joy that football brings. I've been very surprised about the negativity around uh, the game and, of course, around Port Adelaide and football in South Australia. Uh, Port Adelaide is a very, very important club in the 18-team competition. We have got 18 teams for the next five years for our broadcast rights agreement, nine games, and I've got no doubt that it'll be the same into the future. Um, the Adelaide Football Club is an important component. At the moment, both clubs probably not where they want to be on the field, uh, but they will bounce back. Uh, they are both fine football clubs. We have, uh, I should think, demonstrated our support in the clubs by the financial package that we negotiated with the Sandford. Uh, we believe in football in South Australia. They are very well run. The SANFL is a very fine league, uh, and um, people should start to really understand that the only way for this code is to go upwards and we're going to support it and the code has never had more resources in it, never had more money in it, um, got fantastic people and we're going to keep supporting football in South Australia.